Buongiorno. What are you doing here? The Hilton was booked up. There are other places in the Hilton. I always stay at the Hilton. You're crazy. Hey, hey, don't be making that face. I can never be alone when I want to. What face? This face. I think it suits me just fine. You're even crazier than me. Why do I always fall for the girls that aren't my type? Patricia! So, did you notice me following you last night? Hey, answer me. What's wrong? Leave me alone, I'm thinking. About what? The thing is, I don't even know. Well, I know. No, nobody knows. You're thinking about last night, aren't you? I was furious last night, but that doesn't even matter anymore. I'm not thinking of anything. I would like to think of something, but I can't. Well, I'm tired. Very tired. I am going back to sleep. What are you looking at me for? Because I am. You should have stayed with me last night. I couldn't. Yeah, you could. You could have just told the guy that you were busy. No, I couldn't. He has me writing articles. It's very important to me, Michelle. What's important is you coming to Rome with me. Maybe. I, I don't know yet. Did you sleep with him? No. I bet you did. No, he's really sweet. He said we'll sleep together someday, but not yet. But he doesn't even know me. No, not you. Him and me. We had a drink at Harry's. Harry's? I was there too. What time? I don't remember. But why are you here, Michelle? Because I wanted to sleep with you again. <laughs> That's hardly a reason. Yes, it is. It means I love you. But I don't know if I love you yet. When will you know? Soon. What does that even mean? Soon? Like a year? A month? Soon means soon. Women never want to do in eight seconds what they are willing to do eight days later. It's all the same. Eight seconds or eight days. Why not eight centuries? No, eight days is plenty. Women always do things halfway. Really wears me out. Why won't you sleep with me again? Because I want to know what it is that I like about you. I want us to be like Romeo and Juliet. What a girlish thing to say. See? You said last night you couldn't live without me. But you can. Romeo couldn't live without Juliet. But you can. No, I can't live without you. That's just what a guy would say. Hey, give me a smile. Fine. I'll count to eight. And if by eight you haven't given me a smile, then I'll strangle you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven and a half, seven and three quarters. You're such a coward. I bet you're gonna smile. <laughs> Enough games for today. You're a coward. It's too bad. You ever think about death? I do. All the time. Michelle. What? Say something nice to me. Like what? I don't know. Then neither do I. Have you seen my new poster? Hey, come back. No. Come here, goddammit. No, I won't do here. Where else can I put it?
Why'd you slap me when I touched your legs? It wasn't my legs. It's exactly the same. The French say, always say things are the same when they aren't at all. I thought of something nice to say. What? I want to sleep with you again because you're beautiful. No, I'm not. Then because you're ugly. Is it the same? It's the same to me. You're a liar, Michelle. No. Lying's stupid. It's like poker. It's better to tell the truth. The others will think you're bluffing. And that's how you win. What's wrong? I'll stare at you until you stop staring at me. Me too. Here. It's not bad here. Just fine. Do you really like this poster? It's okay. Renoir is a really great painter. I said it's okay. Do you think she's prettier than me? When you're scared or surprised? Are both at the same time, you get a funny glint in your eye. So what? I wanted to sleep with you again because of that glint. Mind if Michelle. I kiss in the sink? Guess what I'm going to say. No idea. I'm pregnant. Huh? You heard me. Whose is it? Mine? I think so. Have you seen a doctor? I went yesterday. I have to go back Thursday for results. You should have been more careful. At times, you have the face of a Martian. That's because my head is in the clouds. Some idea. Having a kid? It's not certain, Michelle. I just wanted to see what you'd say. Take off your clothes. What for? You Americans are so dumb. I don't see why. The proof is that you admire Lafayette and Maurice Chevalier. They're the dumbest of all French. Have you slept with a lot of guys? Not that many. How many? And you? Not that many either. Say something nice. I don't know what to say either. Would you let another man touch you like this? You said I was afraid. It's true, I am afraid, because I want you to love me. But at the same time, I want you to stop loving me. I'm very independent, you know. I love you, but not the way you think I do. Then how? Not like you think. But you don't know what I think. Sure I do. No, you can't. Yes, I do. It's impossible. I want to know what's behind that face. I've been looking at it for just 10 minutes, and I know nothing. Nothing. Sweet, gentle Patricia. Oh no. Fine then. Cruel, stupid, heartless, pathetic, cowardly, hateful. Oh yeah. You don't even know how to put on makeup. Now you're hideous. Say what you like. I don't care. I'm putting it all in my book. What book? I'm writing a novel. You? Why not me? What are you doing? Taking off your shirt. Not now, Michelle. Oh, come on. Why not? Do you know William Faulkner? Who is he? Some guy you slept with? No, of course not, darling. And he can go to hell. Now take off your shirt. He's one of my favorite writers. Have you read The Wild Poem? I said no. Now take off your shirt. Listen, the last sentence is beautiful. Between grief and nothing, I would take grief. 
Which would you choose? Show me your toes. A woman's toes are important. Don't laugh. Which would you choose? I'd choose nothing. It's not better, but grief's a compromise. I want all or nothing. And now you know. That's it.